Dream Team, it's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with the story of the greatest Formula One season of all time, 2012. I'm so excited to jump into this. Before we do, y'all know I need y'all to smash that subscribe button, ring notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. If you guys have a favorite video suggestion, you can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. Well, we it's the 18th of March and Formula One has arrived in Melbourne for the 2012 season, which would prove to be one of the greatest Formula One seasons of all time. The world champions are Sebastian Vettel and Red Bull, looking to extend their run of dominance and win their third world championship in a row. 2007 world champion Kimi Raikkonen has returned to the sport after two years out, driving for the Lotus F1 team. And with the addition of Michael Schumacher, Lewis Hamilton, Fernando Alonso and Jensen Button on the grid, there are a total of six world champions, ready to give the fans of the sport one of the most competitive seasons of racing ever seen in Formula One. And although at the start of the current Formula One season, we're watching the same driver win time and time again, the 2012 season would do the exact opposite and start off with a bang the start of the 2012 season was one of the most electrifying periods in the sport's history, and one that may never be repeated again, with seven different race winners in the first seven races. It's seven what? Seven races? Seven races, seven different winners from each race. Not one of those top guys won two of those seven races. Seven different winners. Yeah, since I've been a fan, that's unheard of. That's crazy. That is legit craziness, bro. Like, to be repeated again. I with can't seven different that. race winners in the first seven races. That's that's it's crazy. Seven out of seven different winners in 2012. What? Turning up to a race weekend with no idea who would end up on the top step of the podium had a level of excitement that hooked fans right from the get go. And the championship was wide open from the very start of the season, with multiple title contenders from a number of different teams. Both McLaren drivers, both Red Bull drivers, and Fernando Alonso had already won races to kick the season off, and Formula One had had its newest race winner in Nico Rosberg. But out of all those Jesus. races, it was the 2012 Spanish Grand Prix that would give us the most unpredictable race winner in years Ooh. and provide us with a race. Five, another different winner, a new winner in Formula One. It's Pastor Maldonado ahead of Maldonado. I've never heard that name before, Maldonado. I've never heard that name before. At the 2012 Spanish Grand Prix, Pastor Maldonado would take a stunning win for Williams, which sent shockwaves throughout the entire Formula 1 paddock and the motorsport world. In qualifying, the Venezuelan would take pole position after Lewis Hamilton was disqualified from the session. And although Fernando Alonso took the lead at the start of the race, an excellent strategy from Williams saw Maldonado jump the Spaniard in the pits and go on to take his first and only win in the sport. Pastor Maldonado had become the first ever Venezuelan winner and provided Williams what? with their first win since 2004, and on the top step of the podium, Maldonado would be hauled onto the shoulders of the other podium finishers, who were third place Kimi Raikkonen and the home hero Fernando Alonso in second, who going into the middle of the season would start to light up the championship with Ferrari. That's, bro, this is insane, bro. This, this is kind of, this is what we need. This is what, like, don't get me wrong, I always say I enjoy Max's dominance. Uh, it's great. But like something like this where you go into the race and you have no clue who's coming out in first. You're just hoping and wishing that your guy comes in first, but you have no clue. Oh my God. As a fan, I it, it, it builds up the suspense. Before the summer break, Fernando Alonso would start to take a hold of the championship putting in some fantastic performances for Ferrari, which would see the Spaniard consistently finishing in the top five. Despite the team having a shocking start to the 2012 season, Fernando Alonso would start putting his Ferrari in positions far beyond the car's capabilities, winning the Malaysian Ooh. Grand Prix from ninth place, Fernando Alonso Dang. and Ferrari back on top of the podium, and producing one of his most memorable races ever in Valencia, winning from an incredible 11th place in front of an adoring home crowd. Oh. From 11 to 4, yeah, yeah, that's, that's driving. That's greatness. That's awesome. From 11 to 1, that's tough, man. 
But that's Fernando Alonso, one of the best. Home to win the Grand Prix of Europe, it's Fernando Alonso for a second time. No matter where he lined up on the grid, Fernando Alonso was a threat to everyone else in the championship. With outstanding racecraft, they would see the Spaniard take a ginormous lead going into the summer break. But hey. at the first race back at the Belgian Grand Prix, disaster would strike for Alonso. After a uh -oh. catastrophic event occurred that would prove to be monumentally significant in the title race. What happened? Going into the back end of the season, Fernando Alonso had taken a hold of the championship ahead of both Red Bull drivers and Lewis Hamilton, who desperately needed a way back into the title fight. And after qualifying, the Spaniard would line up in sixth, ahead of all his rivals looking to extend the gap at the top of the table. But although it seemed like it was going to be another good result for Alonso, something was about to happen that would change the tide in the title race. <gasps> oh my god! At the first corner of the race, the championship leader would be taken out, crashing out of the race and DNFing. Further down the field, Roman Grosjean would dangerously pull over on Lewis Hamilton, Jesus! resulting in a car crash occurring at Turn 1. And Alonso's Ferrari would be taken out in the process, seeing his championship lead cut down to just 24 points. Although Fernando Alonso's title hopes had been dented in the incident, the crash would absolutely crush Lewis Hamilton's hopes of winning a second title with McLaren. And after the race, the Brit would make an announcement that would send shockwaves throughout the entire Formula 1 paddock. The Formula 1 racing driver Lewis Hamilton has left the British racing team McLaren and signed for their rivals Mercedes. Lewis Hamilton is set to leave McLaren. One of his best decisions, man. Turned out to be one of the best decisions he could ever make. <laughs> to go dominate, absolutely dominate with Mercedes. Uh, so, in hindsight, it was the right decision. But that's crazy. That that crash was insane, bro. Jesus. Just after the Belgian Grand Prix, Lewis Hamilton would make a shock move to midfield team Mercedes for the 2013 season. A seemingly insane decision to move away from a championship frontrunner to a team who had recorded just one win in the last three years. Ooh, dang. Despite McLaren coming out as favourites to win the title at the first race in Australia, the team's performance would slowly tail off throughout the 2012 season, which saw a sour relationship develop between the British outfit and Hamilton. Alonso's gone through and it's, oh, it's another calamitous stop for Lewis Hamilton in 2012. Dang, After a series 30, of mistakes made by the team over the season, Hamilton's frustrations had become obvious, publicly tweeting out against the team on a number of occasions. With his move to Mercedes, Hamilton would take the seat of seven-time world champion Michael Schumacher who after a three-year stint with the team, would officially retire from Formula 1 for the second time after coming back to the sport in 2010. At some point, it's good to say goodbye, and it might this time even be uh, forever. During his last season <laughs> in Formula 1, <laughs> Schumacher... This time it might even be forever. Debatably one of the greatest uh, F1 drivers of all time, Michael Schumacher. Schumacher had displayed some inconsistent but at times brilliant driving, with a podium in Valencia and a shock pole position at his final Monaco Grand Prix. What a little star. Pole position. Well done, Michael. Fantastic. But despite these incredible performances by Michael Schumacher, going into the back end of the 2012 season, it was another German who was creating all of the storylines. Imagine... Going into the back end of the season, Sebastian Vettel would enter an unprecedented run of form, winning Why did I not know Vettel was German, bro? I don't know why I didn't know. Going into the back end of the season, Sebastian Vettel would enter an unprecedented run of form, winning all four Asian races in a row at the Singapore oh, wow. Grand Prix, Japanese Grand Prix, Korean Grand Prix, and Indian Grand Prix. It's Sebastian Vettel who has Jeez. led from start to finish and wins the Indian Grand Prix. In just four races, the reigning world champion had gone from 39 points behind Alonso to 13 points in front Dang. and leading the title race. An extraordinary comeback, helped by Fernando Alonso's crucial DNF at the Japanese Grand Prix. That's crazy. Oh, wow. Wow. Despite being counted out for most of the season, Vettel had come back in incredible fashion. And after two more podiums, including one from the pit lane in Abu Dhabi, he had a 13-point championship lead going into the final race Ooh. of the Brazilian Grand Prix, which would go down as one of the most epic title deciders of all time. I'm, I'm excited to see it. I'm excited to see it. 
Going into the season finale at Interlagos, Fernando Alonso needed to finish on the podium to have any chance of winning the title, and a finish of fourth or better for the reigning champion Vettel would see him crowned the 2012 Formula 1 World Champion. After an incredible year of competition with eight different race winners, the two championship protagonists were ready to compete for the final time in 2012. With Vettel starting in 4th and Alonso starting in 7th, many expected Vettel to walk the race from the start and win the title with ease. But on lap 1, drama would strike for Red Bull. Oh, it's look, it's a Red Bull! It's a Red Bull! It's Sebastian Vettel in the middle of the track! It's the worst possible no. scenario for Sebastian Vettel! At turn 4, Vettel was taken out by Bruno Senna, which blew the championship wide open, with the German falling back to last place and sustaining damage to the left side of his car. And on the very next lap, many believed that the championship was going to go the way of Alonso and Ferrari. After the Spanish- Y'all are not going to tell me Sebastian Vettel's going to battle from all the way back there. Y'all are not going to tell me he's going to get back in his race after that happening, bro. You're, you're not going to tell the me. very next lap, many believed that the championship was going to go the way of Alonso and Ferrari, after the Spaniard pulled off an incredible double oh. overtake to take third in the race. And here goes Fernando Alonso down the inside, and Alonso has put himself up into the podium positions! With Alonso up in the podium places and Vettel down in last, Fernando would win his third world title if the race finished as it was. But despite having a damaged car, Sebastian Vettel refused to give up. Fastest lap of the race so far, Sebastian Vettel in 20th what? place. Stay tuned, this is far from over. With Alonso making up places, Vettel would have to finish 7th or higher to take the title, which became even more difficult when a wrong tyre choice and broken radio saw the German pit twice Dang. in two laps. It's a Dang. horrible stop for Sebastian Vettel, it all went wrong for Red Bull, he came into the pits, but no tyres were ready for him. Due to the contact at the start and the error in the pits, Vettel would have to make up a total of 31 places to get back to 6th place in the race. And after Paul de Resta crashed in the dying laps of the race, the 2012 season would finish under the safety car, with Alonso Dang. in second and Vettel in sixth, crowning Sebastian Vettel a three-time Formula One world champion. You're the world champion! You're the triple world champion, Sebastian Vettel! You are the man! You're a triple world champion! Despite a heroic season from Alonso, who had given absolutely Dang. everything to win the title with Ferrari, Sebastian Vettel had come out on top, becoming the third ever man to win three world championships in a row, and had put his name among the greatest ever in Formula 1, reigning victorious in arguably the most competitive Formula 1 season of all time. Formula definitely, definitely one of the greats, Sebastian Vettel. Uh, Jesus. To have that horrific start to F up with the pit lanes, to the radio being f up, to fight all that and still come in six, bro, is crazy. The one in 2012 had given us fans some of the best racing action we'd ever seen. And at the end of it, Vettel and Red Bull were crowned champions of one of the most dramatic Formula One seasons of all time. That's crazy. That's all we got. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon and drop it in the comment section. See what you need. Out.